Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in again, going for yet another win. Tainted, not tainted even, regular Jacob and Ezel win last time, which was pretty awesome. And we get a tainted Azazel one this time, which I don't think we played on the series yet. No, we haven't. Awesome. Okay, glad to have him back. He's a pretty fun character. Um, gets long, thin brim and big sneezes. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. He gets the, uh, the brimstone curse thing. I think it's really fun, this character, to be honest. And obviously he scales quite well just because he doesn't need, um, there's like a few stats that he doesn't need, doesn't really need range, he definitely doesn't need shot speed. Um, so he can scale quite well. I think he's a good, a good lot of fun. But for today's question of the day, ooh, oh, that's kind of a shame. Straight into a devil deal that we cannot access at all. That's, that's a little bit of a shame, that. Um, you watch, we'll just get a soul heart from the boss or something and that would be a bit of a waste. But for the question of the day today, um, kind of a basic one. What's, <clears throat> what's your comfort film? What is a film that you can watch over and over and over and over again and never really get bored of? You just keep, you, you, you've seen it a thousand times, but you still love. I know some people might not have that. And if you don't have that, just in general, watch your favorite film. But for me, my comfort film is definitely, it's also one of my favorite films. <clears throat> it's definitely become Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. For me, that is just a film that is just the right level of everything. It's just so good. Also, we got Bob's Brain here, which I'm actually super happy to have. I think Bob's Brain is fantastic. After it got buffed in Repentance, it became an item that really is so much better than it ever gets credit for. So much better. Get gone. Unfortunately, can't play that chest out. I would love to, but it is not in our wheelhouse right now. There you go. Wow. You got demolished. I had to be careful then because I was trying to go for the Brimstone's Curse, but then I didn't want Bob's brain to smack me. Let's just go with the sneezes on you. Excuse me. Sneezed. There you go. Bit of extra HP. You see, now, now if we'd have got the Devil Deal Teleport, god damn it. God damn it. But Scott Pilgrim for me is like just the perfect level of everything. It's so good. It's so good. If you haven't seen Scott Pilgrim Best of the World, it's amazing. I think Scott Pilgrim is like... One of one of the few mediums in which it's good in every single version of its um of its median. Every, every single way in which it appears. It is great. Of course, it started out as a comic, and the comic, although I haven't read it, is beloved. Um a lot of people really love that was a really bad hit by me there. That was stupid. Um Yeah, a lot of people really love the comics. And then a game came out and Surprise, surprise, the game was also pretty fantastic, which is super, super unusual when um, a medium gets turn turned into a game and it does well. I mean, comic books are definitely a kind of exception to the rule. Of course, there's a lot of Marvel games nowadays that are very, very good. Um, so that's not always the case anymore. Oh, that's very nice. But still, it's still kind of a rarity. And then to turn it into a film as well, the film is really, really where normally... Ooh, this is a very good setup for us. Oh, God. Thank you, Daddy Long Legs. This is a really good item for us. Um, Yeah, the film film is really the, the, main, the main media type that if you, ta if you take something like a comic or a game and you turn it into a, fil a film or, or a TV show... There's some real risk associated. Like, outside of DC Marvel, it seems to be really hard to do right. Like, really hard. So, it is impressive when um, when they manage to pull something off. Ooh, I, I would like the test tube, but I'm going to just take that for now, because I think a soul heart to replace the stupidly lost black heart is a good idea. Honestly, the damage that we're outputting right now is so good. We have four, like, uh, three, should I say, really high damage output sources. If you include ourselves, then maybe four. Because Daddy Long Legs is insane. Um, Bob's Rotten Head is so good. Sorry, uh, Bob's Brain is so good. And then on top of that, we have the Laser Beam. And then Rock Gut is just a very, very strong one as well. Depends on where he spawns, of course. Sometimes he can be a bit useless. But for the most part, he's doing well. <laughs> just tried to hit him then without hitting myself. That was a little difficult. There you go. Hit him against the wall. Beautiful. And I think I'm going to go Angel Deal, to be honest. <clears throat> we have already been into a Devil Deal, so I don't know how that sways things. Um, that might sway things in, in the wrong direction for us here. But I'll see, I'll see. We got half and half Angel Deal right now, so I'm pretty happy with that. 
yeah, and it's just it's just one of those things that I think is so so hard to get right, and it's such a risk. And to see it actually be so good, it's awesome. And as well, another good thing about Scott Pilgrim is the music is just awesome. The music on Sp Scott Pilgrim is so good. If you go and listen to like the um, the score for that for that film. There are some real bangers in there, and they are like proper um, earwigs where they just get stuck in your head. It's so hard to get them out of your head. We need a bit of fire right here. I fire it's a little low right now. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Thank you, Daddy Long Legs. That was very risky. Oh my lord. Uh, we got enough keys to do this. Let's pop them. Boom. Got enough damage to take these guys out easily. Oh, Rock Up changes location after each wave in here. That's interesting to know. Never knew that. Let's just get a few blaps on you. Rock Up's taking care of one of these guys, at least. Now nah, we got them all. We got them all. Bob's Rotten Head charge time seems to be just enough to be working out well for us. And we got a Golden Heart here. If we just want a bit more money, we can take Purpose Full Damage. Grab this. Pulse is... Yeah. I think pause does have some usages. It's it's not amazing. I'm trying to think of a good a good usage for pause here. I kind of have an idea. So maybe we can pause and then yeah, okay. Okay, actually, that's pretty good. So what I was doing there, if you couldn't tell, oh that was really stupid, but we got our uh, golden heart triggered, so that's fine. And um, what I was doing there, if you couldn't tell, was I was um using pause so that I could line up Bob's rotten head correctly. And then uh, kill the biggest enemy in the room first. Which is not always going to work out. But I think I should at least try whenever I can. Because uh, that's actually a pretty decent tactic. I like that a lot. Like, okay, I was just about to say I can kill that guy. But it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Daddy Long Legs is insane. Boom bow. We are just <clears throat> absolutely wrecking right now i'm trying to think of another another series where that's the case because <clears throat> like i think spider-man's maybe one where they've had like tv shows comic books films that have all been really good but then again i feel like marvel just kind of doesn't count just because they've got the most insane budget behind them and the ability to make these incredible films i mean it's <clears throat> it's good that they are as good as they are but kind of know what i mean Ooh, i would love to grab that let's see if we can um Try some fires here. Only two more cents, so we should be able to get it. Although, I don't know, this is the end of the floor. So maybe not. Got a penny in this room, apparently. Okay, one off. Um, I don't actually know where we've got the, an avenue for this, to be honest. Damn it. <clears throat> Okay, let's let's just take a little look around. Let's let's do our boss first. Let's do our boss first. <clears throat> but yeah, for example, what we can do is we can go line that up, throw that, and now we can pause. And I'm not sure if this will work. Okay, it kind of does. I'm basically waiting for Bob's brain to to reappear before I unpause. There you go, exactly like that. Oh, and I threw it into myself again. We got sucky bus though. It's just the 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 bloody stupid enemy rushed towards me. Okay, um... Any way to... A good way to get a penny here. I could go into my sack room and hope for the best there. Or we could get it from here. Nice. Okay, that's pretty good going. Means the next few floors will be pretty good. Grab, grab. Health is pretty weak right now. So we have to kind of worry about that, but that's fine. It'll be all right. <sighs> but yeah, I, I, I always think back to like Mario. Mario's one where, unfortunately, both film and TV as a medium for that has been largely quite unsuccessful um, to the point of being hilariously memed. Honestly, we've got a great setup for pause right now. We've got so much passive damage dealing. All we need now is an orbital to really make it pop. Like, look at this. And we lob that at you. Beautiful. That's a that that that's insane. That we have a really good setup for pause right now. 
Okay, we do have a choice of items coming up as well, which should help. Ooh, that's, this is useful. Be able to trap you in there. <clears throat> Golden key for a bomb is pretty worthwhile, I think. Yeah, I should just start not hitting myself with Bob's Rotten Head. Oh, Bob's Brain. I keep calling it Bob's Rotten Head. Bob's Brain. Because I am really screwing myself over right now. Give me my item room. Oh my god, Succubus is so good for taking out small enemies. I saw as well as Slayer posted a new bug that has been found with uh, with Succubus recently. If you have um, if you have glowing hourglass, uh, you can get infinite damage with Rock Bottom, which obviously is Rock Bottom. So it's one of those glitches where it's like you can get overpowered if you have Rock Bottom, which is like well, no, no. But it's still a pretty cool glitch. You can get literally infinite damage out of it, even if you only have one Succubus, just because of a, a glitch with a glowing hourglass that lets you get like infinite amounts of familiars. It's pretty interesting. Okay, let's uh. Gather these folk up. And then... Let's pause here. Get you out of the way. Definitely need more fire rate to help with this. But this is a super cool combo we got going on right now. I don't think we need it in this room. Room's too big for it to really matter, I think. And that, to be honest, Daddy Longlegs just takes care of everything anyways. He's taking care of business. God damn, Daddy Longlegs is just so strong. You can be blown up straight away. Still, unfortunately, skips around every single room but the actual item room, which is annoying. Tends to happen though. I don't know why for me, but it always does. No tinted rocks, unfortunately, here. Um, not much to say about these guys. They're dead. Extra key. Thank you. Extra key. Ooh, we might be able to get into our uh, boss trap room here for free. That looks like a secret room next to it, to be honest. Oh, that was so stupid. I walked right into that. Ah, just missed with the Bob's brain. I mean, it doesn't matter. We got the kill anyways. Unfortunately, nothing great here. Extra trinket slot plus a trinket on drop is pretty good. The double bomb is kind of interesting. We actually used this a lot last episode. Um, we've got a few different avenues for potential secret room here. Okay, so it's not that one. Hmm. Could be here. I'm going to say it's not, but yeah. Hmm. Not there. Kind of a tricky one, actually. Kind of a tricky one. Maybe it's up here? Could be here? There you go. This is a rules card, isn't it? Yep. God damn you, game. Why do you betray me, sir? But yeah, actually, I think we can use pause to place some bombs as well here. So bosses are going to be pretty easy for us, I think. Yeah. Hey, we got the angel deal. That's awesome. Actually got some HP and some fire rate now as well. And we get Sacred Heart. Booyah. Okay. Good. <laughs> we got Sacred Heart last episode as well, but I will not be upset about it. I tell you that for sure. Getting extra fire rate and now massive damage and homing. Pretty good for me. Pretty good. I will take in a heartbeat. Yeah, I'll also take my key pieces as well and try and do Mega Satan, just, just because of the fact that I just got Sacred Heart, really. I seem to be having a lot of strong vanilla runs as well. I've only got one modded item so far. Yeah, I shouldn't have to worry really about anything for a good while now. Oh, apart from bloody Bob's brain. Stop hurting yourself with it, you dullard. Keep doing it. I think the Colostomia bag is, is the way to go here. I like the plastic bubble. Good shit. Good shit. Oh, how did I not get you then? Extra bomb there. Oh, yes. I forgot it spawns butt bombs rarely as well. So good. Yeah, we've got a really crazy high damage set up here. Ah, I thought that was secret room for some reason. 
Looking back, it, it obviously wasn't, but <laughs> we had an extra bomb there, so I didn't mind. But yeah, getting the angel deal on the low percent chance and it being so, so good is very, very nice. Oh my god, look at that. Homing plus brimstone is just one of the sexiest looking things in this game. It's so satisfying. So satisfying. I've been watching a lot of those, um, like, I, I, for those of you that don't know already, I mean, most of you probably already will, but I'm, I'm an avid enjoyer of ASMR. I just think it's really nice to be able to relax to. Some people don't find it relaxing, but personally, I've listened to it for a long time, pretty much like 10 years now, and I've always found it really relaxing. Um, and I think uh, one thing that I've been enjoying a lot recently and like listening to a lot of is those satisfying video compilations. I think that's one of those things where people don't really consider them to be ASMR, but they really are. Like, especially if you're a person that gets the ASMR sort of triggers, um, so, so to call them. Ooh, I love this item. Also, it seems to have been received a respray, which I really like. Um, yeah, uh... It's, it's just, basically, it's just loads of different people, loads of different things of people doing like stuff efficiently or like cutting blocks of sand up and stuff like that. Apparently it gives you Curse of the Blind, but rerolls um, low quality I I low quality items, item outlines indicate quality. Good stuff. Also, our character is raving mad right now. He is blinking like a crazy person and it's beautiful. But I think considering the items we already have, oh my god, this is going to get really infuriating. Look at it just bobbing up and down and giving us an absolute seizure. Might be able to get an item here. Indeed we can. Mr. Me. We also had Mr. Me last time as well, and we got rid of it. I think I'll keep Mr. Me. I think I'll keep Mr. Me. This guy's jumping around all over the place. Ah, I'm getting hit so much. Do you know what? Let's get you going on him. Didn't even need it. And then we get ourselves Binky. Awesome. Yeah, getting these high quality items in general is just going to be really nice. Having our uh, <laughs> Azazel absolutely blinking mad is a little... It's so funny. I don't know why the crown bobs up and down like it does. Kind of hilarious. Clickety clacks. Clickety clicks. I love the fact that I don't even have to aim correctly at the enemies now as well. Oh, you, you little jumpy fucker. You had to do it. And we got the butt bombs to carry us over if we don't quite get the kills. Beautiful. Don't even know why I went in here, but honestly, it kind of worked out. I suppose I could have stole with Mr. Me if uh, things didn't work out. Ooh, I wonder what's going to get upgraded first here. I wonder. Daddy Long Legs. Okay, I can definitely, can definitely support our Daddy Long Legs upgrade. Upgraded Daddy Long Legs is pretty good, but I was kind of hoping for like a Succubus or a Bob's Brain upgrade just to see what that was. Wheel of Fortune. Didn't really need that, but I popped it down anyways. Damn, need flight. We've been needing flight a lot recently. We've been lacking a lot of flight. It's big sad. Lovely. Another full card there. Eh, we've already got a full card. I don't think we need another. We should kind of use our full card on the Sacri if we get the chance. Um, uh, Curse Room, sorry. Not a Room. Ooh, this looks like a secret room. And it would lead into a boss trap room. Very nice. Ooh, we got a coffin finally. They ne uh, they're new to us. We do need to bomb it twice, though. So I I don't think we're going to be able to get both here. We'll see what we get from in here. Fire us up. Very good. Yes. This is so much better. I really should be trying to... Uh, hit the, the Brimstone's Curse, which I just haven't been doing, but with the homing we've got right now, it's just, it doesn't feel like necessary. Oh my god, I'm getting, I'm taking so much bad damage though. So much bad damage. Ah, I'm looking for a bomber's reward there. 
Let's open this up at least. Yeah, it requires two bombs to open those coffins, so... Hey -o. Hey -o. <laughs> Technically got two bombs now. Oh, wait. We dropped two bombs anyways, but that doesn't count. And... Not a bad haul. Burn spares and skeleton key. I ain't gonna turn my nose apart. Skeleton key is... I don't know. Skeleton key is kind of one of those ones where I feel like I very rarely don't have enough keys in the late game. In the early game, sure, it's definitely useful. But in the late game, I very rarely need need that many keys. I suppose if I grab like a guppy's tail at some point, it could be kind of nice. I still not seen an item room here. And I got hit again. God damn it. I need to be very careful because my HP is awful. Absolutely awful right now. Thank you, Bob's Brain, for helping me out there. I genuinely think we're better off with this because we got double bombs. It's going to just insta-kill things. We might be able to make boss rush here as well, actually. That'd be a good idea. But I'm just, yeah, I'm just a bit worried about my HP, to be honest. Doing boss rush with this HP doesn't seem like the best of ideas. Oh! Are you, Bob's Brain! is the greatest item for damage. But my god, as this character, it's infuriating. Because I keep trying to Brimstone's Curse everything and then hitting myself. It's so annoying. Um, I'm going to take this. Check out this. No. Lots of bomb upgrades. I don't know how this will even work. Will it even work? No, it will not. Okay. okay Min Min's doing his thing as well over here. That's not good. Oh god, you're not dying very quick at all, are you? I was hoping you'd die a lot quicker than this. I might die in here. I thought with Sacred Heart I'd be completely fine. It's looking like that's not the case. Ooh, there's a heart there though. We very much need that. Holy shit, whatever just happened there, it just insta-killed you. At least we're going to be covering the floor. In all this poop slick, which is going to give us bonus stats. What do you do, Mr. Me? Are you okay? Oh, thank you, I guess. I'm going to say I really could be using Brimstone's Cast much more effectively, but... It's just kind of difficult for us right now. Oh god, how did I not get hit there? Okay, two enemies that are at the top of the screen is kind of interesting to have at once here. Both of them are capable of brimstoning too, which is scary. I think Burn Spares is also pretty good here for us. <laughs> Mr. Me is just like trying his darndest. Trying his goddamn best. Mr. Fred's in the house, hello. Oh, we just missed him with Bob's brain as well. What the hell did I just get hit by? Oh, shit. You're at the top of the screen too? I didn't realise you were here. Oh my god, you're eternal as well. The spikes all over. There's shit going down. I didn't see you there. Oh my lord. This is a bit scary.
I can't believe I just killed you so quickly. No! How did you hit me with that shot? Damn you! This is crazy. Okay, half a heart there. I need that. I need that. Everything's eternal! Stop! Boss Rush is so much harder these days. God. You kids don't know how easy you had it. I'm just surviving by the skin of my scrot right now and it's... It's a scary time. Don't you go brimstoning. I'm loving the butt bombs. The butt play is very nice. But everything else is a little scary. Like, the, the, the bosses that have boss armor, they're just surviving. <laughs> it's just, god damn, I'm like spending so long trying to kill them. Hornfell be damned. Colostomia, do you have to? Colostomia, my. At least he doesn't have boss armor, but he's still going to be a bit of a treacherous one. Oh my god. There you go, holy shit, that was a big explosion. We got Blastasis as well, Blastasis is an absolute pain in the ass. Honestly, Bob's brain is, is helping so much right now. And every time I say that, he ends up biting me in the ass. So I am a bit hesitant to say it, but I'm going to give him props today. I'm going to give him props. Don't betray me, good sir. You I told you not to betray me, you fucker. What did I just say? What did I just say? Every time I tell him he's a good boy, he's like, lol. Say what? I'm a bad boy, don't call me that. How did that miss? I mean, it hit the matriarch at least, but come on now. Oh god, oh god, oh god. The matriarch is having one of her moments. You've got to drop some health, right? Damn you. Oh, no, you did. You did. You did. I did it. I unlocked the Joker. What? <laughs> the reverse Joker, I guess. Okay, then. We have uh, made it out of this alive, in heavy quotations. Um, Yeah. So, there. We have made it out, in a way. I feel like the next few floors ain't really going to go so hot. The good thing is, though, the enemies should die significantly easier. Significantly easier than before, but I still don't think we're going to have too good of a time of it, to be honest. Thought that would be secret room. Why are you here? We should at least check this out. Oh, yep, okay, this is why we check it out. Not what I was looking for, you bitch. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. Can you steal? I checked this last time, but I have to check again. Really? What? Bob's brain! How? And why? No! You dropped HP as well. What a death. Oh my lord. Anyways, that was my own hubris that got the better of me there, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed this one nonetheless. There were some interesting items and stuff that went along there. Either way, we got Bosch Rush. I don't mind. We got Ian Lock. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.